Well, we started working with GuardMe over 10 years ago, and uh, we needed to basically uh, provide medical insurance to the students. Um, as you know, uh, it's very, very expensive for students to come to Canada uh, and not to have insurance if they get sick. Uh, you know, they could be looking at charges of well over $1,000 a day. So it was really important to find uh, a cost-effective insurance plan that was going to be recognized in Canada and also was easy to use uh, for the students, um, something that was uh, very transparent. Uh, a lot of companies produce their materials in English, uh, but you know, when you're dealing with insurance documents, you want it in your own language. So Guard Me, really from the very beginning, uh, made a tremendous investment in translating all the materials uh, into the major languages uh, of the clients that, uh, that we work with. So uh, we chose them uh, and they've been fantastic providers um, for, as I said, well over 10 years. Um, and we know that there are other companies out there, but uh, uh, they just don't have the, uh, the skill and the, the diversity that we need. Uh, very easy to work with. And we're actually expanding the relationship, looking at uh, bringing them on board for our school in Hawaii and the United States as well. We have about 7,000 students a year come to our Global Village English Centers. Um, at the moment, we're you know mostly working with uh, with the Canadian schools um, using GuardMe. We offer the package to all of our students. Um, and I would say, you know, probably about 60% of them would take us up on that offer. Well, I think that uh, agents can take advantage of, of working with GuardMe. Uh, obviously, uh, language schools can really benefit. And uh, I think that uh, colleges, as, as they become more and more active working with the, uh, uh, the international educational sector, uh, it's certainly in their interest to, to make sure that their students are covered um, you know, for the first three months when they first arrive uh, into Canada, uh, I think it's a really important decision. You, know, you shouldn't have an international student in a, an institution, uh, especially in Canada, without uh, sufficient medical coverage.